I remember timber day, we did this for my grandmother, and we would work all day chopping timber and filling the wood chamber. So yes, we would have a wood cutting day for my grandparents on both sides of my family. So on my dad's side of the family, there was about probably 30 or 40, uh, you know, uncles and male cousins that would all come together, and we would all be out in the woods all day. We'd cut down this really big tree usually, uh, or a couple of really big trees. There would be about four different wagons going. There would be people back in the in the woods that were throwing, you know, cutting wood, splitting wood uh, by hand. And there would be other people filling the wagons back in the woods. And as younger kids, our job was always to uh, unload the wagons into the woodshed. And they had a pretty good sized woodshed. It would take us about, I don't know, about six hours to fill that up. And we worked all day long. And uh, it was always a lot of fun because afterwards we would have like, uh, we would roast hot dogs, we'd have some ice cream, just have like a little picnic. It was always a good time. And plus you get to see your cousins and uh, uncles and aunts and everybody and get to spend time with them. It was always a good time. Now on the other side of my family, on my mom's side of the family, my mom had um, just the one brother and he had three girls. So there was three boys in my family. So it was always... My dad, us three boys, and then my uncle. So we were doing all the work. And I remember one day, uh, my dad couldn't go. We did have a couple of wood cutting days for my grandmother throughout the winter because uh, she had a smaller woodshed, plus there was less of us filling up the woodshed. So I remember one day, my dad couldn't go, so he sends me up to help cut wood for my grandma. And I was probably like 14 or 15 years old, I don't know. I, was, I wasn't an adult yet. But my uncle had me out there all day long cutting wood, and my mom was ready to go home. She says, go ask uncle, uh, you know, said his name, go ask your uncle if he's about ready to, that you can go home. So I asked him, and he said, uh, uh, we'll do a couple more loads. And we ended up being up there until dark that day. We were up there all day, and I was so ready to go home, and it was just like all day, just, just grinding all day uh, cutting this wood. And he, he looks at me and he says, do you like Mountain Dew? I said, yeah, I love Mountain Dew. He says, okay. And he said, uh, his wife or, or his oldest daughter was, had come out. And he said, go, go to the store and get a two liter. There's a store about two miles away. Get a two liter of Mountain Dew. They brought the two liter back. And he, we're out there. And he's all sweaty and uh, covered in sawdust, you know, uh, dirty, sweaty. And he takes this two liter and he just starts chugging out of it. And he hands it to me. He's like, you want some? I said, no, I'm okay. I'm not thirsty anymore. And I didn't even drink any Mountain Dew that day.